Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel Tech For You Tech That Matters. Today I'm going to be doing another video tutorial about watermark um, not working correctly. Um, now the reason why I'm doing this is because I've had a comment. Um, someone's having issues with their um, watermark not showing up on their phone. Now this is going to be an updated version uh, to what I had done previously, but I'm going to add some more information. Uh, for 2020. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right to the video and let me show you guys exactly what needs to be done. Okay, so first thing you need to do is go into your Google search and find a watermark that's going to be suitable for you and for YouTube standards. Now, first rule is you have to make sure that it's square. YouTube is really strict on this. So when you find a square watermark, make sure it's also transparent because if it's not, you know, translucent in your videos, you're going to see the background with your actual watermark. And in some cases, it doesn't really look professional. So you make sure it's square, number one. And number two, make sure it's transparent like the one I'm showing you right here. So what we're going to do is go in to YouTube Studio. <clears throat> Once we get into YouTube Studio, we're gonna go into your settings right here. Click on settings. Now again, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've had you know certain people on my comments telling me I can see my watermark on my PC, but I cannot see my watermark on my my uh, Android device. So this is the purpose behind it. So once you go into your settings, go into channel. Once you go into channel, select branding. Now, as you can see here, I've already posted my watermark. Okay. My watermark is already set. It's already showing up in all my YouTube videos. I have it selected on entire video. Okay. Now, once you go ahead and you find your YouTube watermark, and what I'm going to show you is I'm going to minimize my background because I want to show you what you need to do to let YouTube approve your watermark. So I'm going to go into where everything is downloaded. Okay. And um, I'm going to show you my watermark that I have. Okay. And it's right here. This is my watermark that I've downloaded from YouTube. Now, what you want to do um when you get this is you want to size it to youtube standards now youtube standards says you have to be by uh, 800 by 800 okay but in order to satisfy them you can edit your watermark okay into your settings um more likely you guys are probably watching this on your pc where the watermark is saved okay so you can go into here into your settings and you have um, a lot of different things that you can do on here to resize it up. So you go to resize. Okay. Now, again, YouTube says that it has to be 800 by 800. So all you need to do is just erase all this mess. And I would say keep it at 150. Okay. And I say 150 because of the fact uh, hold on let me let me i messed up let me go out of here sorry i messed up let's do 150 okay and then this is going to be set to 85 now this is going to be different if you guys are doing this on pc or laptop on my laptop i can set the width to 150 and the height is going to be at 185 that's going to be more than enough for youtube standards if you're doing it on a pc make sure it's 150 to 150 in width and height don't worry about what I just did with the color background. You know, I messed up. I don't care about that. My, my YouTube watermark is already uploaded. I'm just showing you the resize format. Once you go ahead and resize this, you want to go ahead and hit done and then hit exit. Once you hit exit, now you can go back into your YouTube channel to your uh, YouTube studio and go ahead and hit replace. Once you hit replace, your watermark will be automatically uploaded. So this is going to really help you guys out there that are having issues not seeing your watermark on your mobile phone, but you are seeing it on your PC. 
So this is gonna help. Another thing you need to make sure that is when you download these watermarks, you have to make sure it's PNG or GIF, okay? Again, guys, make sure that when you download this watermark for your YouTube channel, make sure it's GIF and PNG because if you haven't selected either one of those two formats, it's not gonna show up. Your watermark will not show up in your YouTube videos. You have to make sure it's one or the other. That's another thing that you guys have to consider. So not only you have to make sure it's at least 800 by 800 pixels, but you need to make sure that it's set to GIF and PNG. GIF is in GIF. Okay, that's what I did on my uh, watermark. So download your watermark, make sure it's transparent, make sure it's 800 by 800 pixels because that's what YouTube wants you guys to do. Make sure it's G, I'm sorry, make sure it's um, GIF and PNG. Once you get all that sorted out and resized, upload your watermark and you should be fine. Now, in case none of these methods do work you need to contact google so that way they can get to the root of the problem and figure out exactly what's causing your watermark not to show up in your youtube videos once you get done doing your watermark uploaded if it was successful you can always go ahead and get out of here by hitting the back button and then you can go directly into your youtube channel and then you can go ahead and click a video to see whether or not if your watermark is showing up. So I hope this video was very helpful. If it did work for you guys, leave a comment down below to let me know yay or nay. Again, this video is to help you guys to be able to see your watermark in your videos if you're not seeing it on your mobile phone, but you are seeing it on your PC. So if you did like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.